Well, hello, friends. E I'm so excited for this, you guys. I'm so excited. Look, I've got the good camera out. We get a wider space when we do that. I'm willing to let the upload time be longer because I do not work tomorrow. So, it is Sunday evening at about 20 after 11. Let's see if we can get these to focus. Hang on. Come on, bugger. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of a redo. Well, kind of. Let's look at this first of all. Look at how beautiful that is. This is called Dolled Up, and it is, um, it is an in cocoa set, but at the same time, it was part of their coconut brand, which they only sold at Walmart. So you only get those three, these two, and one of the babies. So you're only getting six nails. So if you were, um, you know, a person that needed the bigger thumb, they wouldn't have worked for you. Um, they were around four or five dollars a pack, so super cheap. Yeah, and these are called Dolled Up, they're from 2019. Um, I have used them twice before. So, the last time I did them was in January. Um, that video is on here. I went and watched it because I was pretty sure I remembered how I did them, but I wanted to see for sure. And everything about it gave me nostalgia of how I used to do my videos because I used to have the camera like set up over here. So you were seeing like a side angle so you could see my coffee cup of the day and that kind of thing. That was kind of fun. I miss that. Anyway, um, but you didn't have near the great angle as you do here. The over the top is definitely the best angle if you're doing, you know, nail stuff. Anyway, so we're using the Coconut Nails slash In Cocoa uh, Dolled Up uh, Champagne Sugar, my baby, which I used Champagne Sugar with this last time too. And then this year we're using Brownie Points. Now last year I did um, oh, Sahara Jewel, which went amazingly with this. Last year I did V-tips with it and then trimmed it in gold foil. You guys, it's stunning. It's stunning. And I want to say it's one of the first uh, neutral colorways that I had ever done. So there you go. So we're still going negative space with these, you guys, uh, except a little different. We're doing something I haven't done before. I'm digging it, so I thought I would share it. It took me a couple fingers and it took me the baby pinkies <laughs> to try to figure it out, like to get it right in my head. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, you guys. And then I have the little, two little baby, baby um, champagne sugar out because a couple of my nails are longer and I don't think the single overlay will work for both fingers, but I can easily, you know, patch it up, doctor it in with that. So plastic off that, plastic off this. Hi, by the way, I'm Stacy. Thanks for coming. If you are a nail stripped addict, you will enjoy it here. It's what I do. Mainly Color Street in Coco um, is my drug of choice, but I also love to try other brands, especially other brand overlays because Fa's really slacking as far as that goes for us here in the States. So, you know, uh, I do videos at least twice a week. Um... I'm not a stylist, so I tend to say what I think versus say what I think I am supposed to tell you. You know, how that goes. I'm having a sip of coffee, guys. Let me tell you. Wait, let me finish. So, if you find yourself coming back here over and over, 
why don't you hit that subscribe so you see when I put new videos out and it helps me in the algorithm so that YouTube will show me to other nail addicts like us other like-minded ladies and men okay so listen I love Goodwill for like punches and scissors and stuff it's just it's really random you guys I got this pair of scallop edge scissors they are heavy these oh my gosh they're so heavy like I actually think hang on yeah they weigh about the same as my bottle of water so they're really heavy but I loved this size of scallop and they were like a dollar ninety nine and if you can find any craft scissors that are metal they give you a much nicer sharper cut because they're so much tighter uh, and probably sharper than like the plastic handled ones so there's your tip for the day all right you guys so we've stacked these up dolled up and uh, brownie points doesn't matter which what's which one's on top and I'm doing a slant so here's what I'm doing I'm putting this in here but before I finish the cut I'm gonna hold on to these two up here let them two fall so here's the problem right one half is getting the beautiful scallop and one half is getting the dips in so then I'm turning this around this way coming from the other side and just trimming a hair off it so that can also get scalloped and that you guys that took me way longer than <laughs> way longer than it should have to figure that out <laughs> I don't know why and then I'm just putting the straight side down here Oh my goodness, you guys, I had to do something tonight that I said I would not ever do again and that also I haven't had to do in three months. I had to use nail polish remover. So let me tell you, I had popped off four nails, I think, all but my pinky. I popped them off. I've been working on... I have a background a background project you guys I'm working on um, making some top coats like just for nail friends and prizes in the sassy crew and prizes on here just that kind of thing right let me show you this before I get too distracted okay see how I've just pulled it up a little hair and these the cream has that tiny bit sheer just a tiny bit so it darkens it gets darkened up a bit over brownie points let me clean that edge up quick oh they're so cute and look they'd be so cute like this you guys they're just that little scallop is just adorable to me but I'm going to top it with champagne sugar because it looks amazing. Um, okay, so, and when I say make glitter top coats, I'm not like, you know, it's not like I'm working with the glitter top coat company. I don't know who the glitter top coat company is, I'm just saying. It's not like I'm working with somebody. I just am at home um, with empty polish bottles that you can order on Amazon and glitter from um, Etsy because you need glitter you need polyester glitter for one you can't just use like Joann's glitter um, but I cannot get my base coat right for some reason I have the glitter right I cannot get the base coat right so here's what keeps happening and look how good this suspension is. This hasn't been shaken since for this afternoon. So almost eight hours. So the suspension is fantastic. It's holding the glitter up without having to shake it. But the glitters that were in here were a cocoa color and an orange. And it keeps bleeding the colors out. And I know it's not just this one because I have made them for friends and the same thing has happened 
So I found another suspension to use and I'm going to try that one and see if it'll do the trick. But I was so bummed because if you use this uh, over something, well really over anything, it's like basically that base coat is a tint. You know, this one's an orange tint. So when I put it over a Swiss Intel nail, and that is exactly what happened. So I took two, I had two Swiss Intel nails. So I just threw them down uh, to tinker with the, with the top coat and didn't even think about the fact that they did not have Peely Base on them. So I had to use nail polish remover on them. And I was like so sore in my heart because... I haven't had to use any nail polish remover since like the middle of November. Yeah, so we're well on to we're well on to three months of using just peeling base coat and like my nails look so dang good that it's like the last thing I want to do is go back to using acetone on them. Um, Shannon, one of my stylists, was doing the comparison of the Color Street Remover and Mineral Fusion Remover today in her group. And um, one thing I can say is that it was fast, definitely. It beat, it beat Mineral Fusion for sure. Um... The it did leak though, even when she had it on nice and tight, she had laid it down like you know, so everybody could see the labels of the bottles when she was getting ready to go live, and it did leak. So, so even though they've bragged up their non leaking top, it does leak. I feel like that's almost just a thing with any polish remover is you have to be really vigilant about not letting it get tipped. I know that even with my little um, scrubby jar tubs, they will leak if they're on their side. So you just got to keep them upright. But, you know somebody should have tried laying it on its side at some point at corporate and seen that it did leak <laughs> I saw one other video where the girl was like and look at this it doesn't leak and she's shaking her bottle all over the place and stuff and uh, then she opens it and here she hadn't taken the safety seal off inside I was cracking up I'm like nope probably won't leak with the <laughs> safety seal on inside now I have no you know, I told when I was watching Shannon's live, I said, girl, I'm just here for the science, like to see, you know, was it faster? Sure. Maybe five or 10 seconds faster. Um, you know, price wise, Mineral Fusion and Color Street are both $2 an ounce. So either way, you know, but you can catch sales on Mineral Fusion. Um... We've never had a sale on Color Street's website. Now, that's not to say that now that they're going to be adding these other products, they won't maybe do sales sometimes. I have no idea. I don't know how, like, um, you know, their commissions or anything are going to be working for them now that they're making all these changes. Like, I don't know if they're getting more or less off of these new products, like the nail products and then the uh what do you call it cosmetics but you know I mean it's hard to do a sale when you also have to pay everybody and then everybody's down lines and uplines and stuff so I don't know if there'll be I know that mineral fusion oftentimes has 25% and more off I don't buy it, but I am subscribed to their emails, and um, so I get their, like, sale emails still, and I just share them with the nail friends, but now all of my, I think all of my nail friends have switched to the Q-Tex 
acetone free the one that says it'll remove the UV polish and that one you know if you're figuring it out cost wise is three dollars a bottle for a 3.71 ounce bottle so a little less than a dollar an ounce so a little less than half price and I will say this not only a little less than half price you know you're not paying shipping at all on that where you are going to be paying shipping on both of those and you guys I don't have any stock in it either way a I'm not a stylist B I don't use remover and when I do use remover like I had to today this is what I use beauty 360 this is from CVS pro strength nail polish remover and it has to be the pro strength or it doesn't have the plastic scrubber inside like that because girl that buzzes your polish off in a heartbeat but this is acetone I have to use acetone because there is something in mineral fusion that sets my skin on fire like really really burns it and the um, mineral fusion and color street the list of ingredients is exactly the same um, Shannon said the color street one smell softer smell so that's going to be where the difference is is in the fragrance now um maybe one of the stylists will throw me a message and let me know what kind of commission they're getting on their remover um normally they get 25 percent so they could be getting like three something three something possibly off of remover so I'm just I'm just interested to know that because um you know if you're gonna be paying the same price for mineral fusion as you are for color street uh, and they can figure out something with the shipping because they know the nine dollar shipping is like I mean, honest, you guys, cover your ears if you have delicate ears, but $9 shipping, you can eat a dick. There's no way I would. None. Not possible for me. And even if I had the money, I wouldn't do it because it would tick me off. Anyway. Okay, um, now you can open your delicate ears again. But, uh, I would prefer to you know, support a stylist. If that's my, if, if it all comes down to everything being the same price, then I'm going to support a stylist over not supporting a stylist, right? That's me though. And not everybody is going to have that thought because I know you can also get mineral fusion on Amazon. If you have prime, then you're getting free shipping and lots of times they do sales. The problem is, is that there's been fakes and stuff on there. Um, so if you're not ordering from the Mineral Fusion website, then you don't know that you're actually getting a good product. So, there's that. There's my whole take on that. And that, honestly, was just to give you some information, you guys, because like I said, I am never going back. Never going back. In fact, I just got two new bottles of Peely Base Coat this week. Um, they had their little, it works out to be in like a couple bucks off a bottle sale. So I just ordered two more bottles to have it. But I've got, I would say, I would say I'm more than one third into it now. I'm like pushing on one half. That's what I'm saying. So, um, I am doing some, wait, let me, before I say that, let me say this. My mom's birthday is the weekend of March 6th, so I'm headed to her house the Wednesday evening after therapy 
and I will be home Saturday evening. And you're like, Stacy, why don't you come home Sunday? Well, for one, it's just hard to come home Sunday and then go to work on Monday. Um, but also, she lives up um, about two and a half or so hours north of me in Minnesota, which is still <laughs> a very hopping for ice fishing and such. So the traffic going to her house, if you travel Friday or Sunday, makes you want to cry real tears. It'll turn like a three hour trip into a five hour trip real fast. And then also because it is, there are pretty strict limits on how many fish you can take. Um, they often, the DNR will have checks set up, checkpoints set up, and that'll slow it down even more. So this girl hates that. So during, well, actually when there's not ice fishing, then there's summer fishing and basically the same things can happen on the weekend. So I just kind of always try to do my mom's like a lot of times Thursday to Saturday um, because I'm missing out on that we all miss out on the big traffic going up and the big traffic coming back. But um, so yeah, so I'm going to her house. So I'm going to try to have something pre-recorded or just, you know, well-planned. I'll try to well-plan it that week so you guys don't even, don't even know I'm missing, girl. She is moving into a new apartment on Thursday this week and she's very excited. And she's like, I hired movers because I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> I said, yeah, you and me both. <laughs> so I'm going to go help her unpack and just hang out. And we'll order in food and do whatever. You know, we won't really do anything because it's not like there's any fantastic things to do up there. We'll probably go to the casino one night. Uh, there's a little casino up there. By little, I mean there's like 150 machines and the whole thing it is very little I can pretty much spot her anywhere in the whole place no matter where I am so we'll go do that that'll be fun just hang out and help her get stuff um, put away and organized in that so and it's also a really nice break because it's not nearly exciting enough for Willow so she always stays home when I go up there girl it's kind of nice I'm telling you she is a great kid but just having to not have to worry about anything is fantastic oh my gosh you guys isn't this kind of like a scallop on a dress or something you know it just and then with these little bows I'm adding on it's so cute it's very it's very fitting for its name of Dolled Up. Mars and I have been up to our ears getting our spring ruckus stuff done. I just set up, I'll do three live nail demos during that. And um, tonight while I was in the bathtub, I was working on getting my pit collages made that show what what our inspiration picture is and what will be oh I should show you guys because I'm on the camera <gasps> yeah 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 I will I will let me trim this nail because I can use my phone since I'm on the camera okay oh gosh you guys these are just so good all right let me see here Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this one. But I, when I saw this one, it made me think of how that they do that Asian, where Asian custom where they'll like fix broken pottery with gold. And then it just makes it more beautiful. And so I'm going to do this with gold. That is my inspiration picture though. 
Wednesday, March 23rd, 7 p.m. Okay, this one, Friday, March 18th, 7 p.m. All times are central, because guess what? I'm central. Little flowers with little gold middles. Just very pastel and cute and decorative. I just love that one. I don't know. I'm going to, like, just keep in mind, this is inspiration. Doesn't mean they're going to look set on like that. Okay, this is my, oh, this is my favorite. Come on, you guys. March four, Monday, March 14th. Look at it. These are all polish ones, you guys, but I think we can do, I think we can get close. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, and I've already done the uneven tips like that, the kind of tulip tips, sort of. So, I mean, the rest should just be gravy, right? There we go. We'll be doing them. Live in the spring ruckus. Live, in person. If you have not joined the Sassy Crew, you guys, we're on a group on Facebook. The link is below. Um... Basically, it is an extension of my YouTube channel because it's really hard to get to interact with people on here. At least, you know, really get to talking, I guess. Um, and share inspiration pictures and ask questions and share good ideas and so on. So, made the group on Facebook and... Once a month we do live nails in there. And when I hit a thousand people on here, I'll be able to do lives on here. That'll be fantastic. But YouTube blocks you till you hit a thousand subscribers. Basically, a thousand subscribers is the the gate to everything. But um Sassy Crew is super fun. Super fun. All nails all day. <laughs> but the ruckus is super fun and busy. And you're going to be like, day one, you're going to say, oh, I'm overwhelmed. And by the time it's all closed up and done, you're going to miss it. That, I'm seriously, is what happens with everybody. They're like, I'm going to have withdrawals. All this you know, excitement and nail talk and nail fun. All right. Oh gosh, these are adorable. They're just a little bit too cute for me. And those little bows just pop right out. So cute. Okay. Now, this is where I anticipate I'm going to need some filler on the ends. I've been watching Valentine's movies on Hallmark all weekend. Will I work on the Sassy Crew stuff? Marcy takes care of. We do a daily question. Like, not like there's a right or a wrong answer, okay? They're just for fun, you know? We do a daily question. Each one has a prize tied to it. And that is always her department. Now, this year, we tried to step up our game a little bit and just make, like, have matching artwork and stuff. And Shannon has made some, made some artwork that she shared with us. So we're trying to, you know, kind of carry it through, really give a theme, which is awesome but also takes a little more thought process for us so Mars has been working on questions and I've been working on um like stuff nail sets we're giving away and stuff I always have pictures taken and ready to go See that? About half too short. But I know that this little guy can take care of it. My garbage pans are very full tonight. There we go. Yeah. 
and I'm just trying to like the very slightest overlap on it like I don't want one spot to wind up with you know a real thick glitter but I also don't want an empty spot Oh, I know what I was going to say, and then I got sidetracked. Alright, have you guys seen any of the sneaks of the sets coming at the end of the month? There's like a red duochrome, a green duochrome that's really good. It's like the color of green poison. <laughs> you know, like in every cartoon when there's like poison smoke that color green. <laughs> is really good um and then there is a red a red duochrome that's actually quite pretty the red to orange shift and a blue i don't remember what the blue was blue to what i don't remember that part the blue was reminiscent of um what to compare it to but it was definitely reminiscent of something you guys I just can't remember what I thought it compared to okay and along with those is um, four animal print overlays so there is a zebra print which is amazing and a cow print shut up you guys I know people have been asking for cow print for ages um, a snake print, which I'll hard pass on, and then a, um, like a tiger slash wild cat or something print, <laughs> a something print, <laughs> something like that, I believe. Um, yeah, so four overlays and then three duochromes. And I've seen, let's see, so far I've seen somebody posted in the Sassy Crew the green with the snake print it was beautiful. And then um, somebody posted, oh, I think it was Beck had posted a uh, classy cause by Beck. Um, the red, oh, I think with the zebra. think anyway so four animal prints three duochromes sometime at the end of the month I'm trying to figure out you guys because Easter was supposed to still be coming a couple weeks after St. Patrick's Day I gotta look I have to look I have to pop open my calendar you guys I didn't shake my northern lights I just wanted it purely for the um, purely for the top coat. And because these are, these are glitter enough for me. They look beautiful. Okay, hang on. Let me see this here. Alright, so we just ordered St. Patrick's Day on Thursday, right? They came out Thursday. Which was the 17th. So I'm wondering if the Easter stuff will wind up wind up coming out the 22nd because it was supposed to be St. Patrick's Day on the 8th. They pushed it out the week to the 17th and they said it would be two weeks, a week for thing or a week for St. Patrick's and two weeks for Easter. So I'm wondering if the Easter then will be this week, like either the 22nd or the 24th. And then maybe but then I don't know when that puts the duochromes and the animal prints. I mean, and, and, and let me just say, can somebody please remember that we don't even know what's retiring yet? Are they not retiring anything? Are they just going to keep everything forever? I mean, I'm not against that, but stylists would probably be against having to carry that much, you know, or just have that much, but we don't know what's retiring yet. Oh my God. And spring catalogs come in. Ooh, it's a lot of stress. It's a lot, you guys. That's a good 
I'd say easily between St. Patrick's Day, Easter, duochrome and animal print set, it's probably going to easily be 50 new sets, you guys. And granted, we probably won't love all of them. And we won't order all of them. Well, maybe we will order all of them. Maybe we won't. <laughs> but still, it's a lot, you guys. It's a lot. It's a lot coming. Let me just say that. All right, here we are. And they're lovely. There we go, you guys. Oh my lordy. They're almost a little chocolatey, aren't they? Like, almost like a little cake or something. They're so cute. Oh, I love them. All right, guys. Tonight, Sunday. Mm, probably see you Wednesday. I would guess, more than likely. Have yourself a super great couple days, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.